hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add filters in the left side of the list view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a search view and how to apply a different filter by options please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen odoo 1718 development tutorial Right now we are working on this playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available. Alright. Let's back to our main topic guys. If you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. Plus you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions. Let's see here how we can add custom filters in the left side here. Right. In our previous session, we already talked about these options, how we can add right here and here. So, now, uh, let's see the student views, the student view, right? And this is the search view. Now, here, there is a one more option is available, which is the search panel. Okay, inside this search panel, we have to add a field. So this name and the string. Okay, so for example, gender, right? And here we can use gender like this way. So this gender, instead of in the filter itself, here or let's say group by or let's say here we instead of user want to apply the filters from here that is also possible right so that's why we used here gender as a field name okay and string so this is basically the user level for this filter after we must have to upgrade the module so i'm trying to upgrade module from pycharm if you don't know how to configure Odoo in Python, please check editor level playlist. I already explained everything. Here, let's refresh the screen. All right. So there is a one more issue. Okay. So you can see here this error message. Ah, oh, sorry, my spelling mistake. Right. All right. So successfully updated. So the issue was in the search keyword typing mistake. And now you can see here all one female and male. Right. So like this way, you can filter records. Plus you can also group by this option, right? You can apply filters in a both way. Another thing is this one. If you click here, you will not see that filter options more. If you click here, you can see like this, you can see the gender right and before the gender you can see the icon we will see how to change i mean change the color plus you can also see here the values of the gender selection field right we can also select multiple options here how we can do it so the first thing is multi option so select as attribute we have to choose and we have to choose here multi okay let me restart the service let me refresh the screen now you can see here plus you can see the change of the icon right see previously you cannot change select multiple records options right and now you can see here now let's say if you want to change the icon right then you have to use here the icon then let's say if uh, truck we can use here right and once you refresh the screen 
you can see here the truck so all the possible icons you can search in the icon finder you will get and you can just search here accordingly okay if you want to change the icon of the color right then you can use here something like let's say the has 875a7b something like this color or you can use a different color let's say school underscore id let's say here i'm trying to use currency okay oh sorry yeah uh, we can use here red color not this color the same color okay you can see this one uh, you can see the icon is not available ah cur currency is not available so let's say cutlery icon and refresh the screen right see the option is available like this way like this way multiple schools you can display like this way and most important thing is you don't know right now how many records available for this one right so if you want to apply here the count right you have to just simple use here unable counters equal to one c o u n t e r s or else again we will have an error message and now you can see here you can see this school have a one student this school have a seven student this school have a one student four students and one student right you can see the count so like this way you can apply right the filters in the left side so i hope you understood about this topic if you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session